Hi everybody! So today I'm going to be turning this face into the beautiful Rosé from Blackpink in the How You Like That promo pick. So we're going to start by moisturizing that face. I can't tell you how important this is. I'm using the Clarins Hydra Essential Gel Sorbet Moisturizer. It is super, super important to quench that skin. We have to make sure that we're looking nice and juicy before we put on any makeup. Then we're going in with our Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Y'all, let me tell you, I am obsessed with this. I recently got on this product and I love. I live. We put some on our hands. We are gonna dab, dab, dab. We are gonna moisturize that into our skin. Now primer is also very important before you're using any foundations because it helps apply the foundation seamlessly onto your skin. Now we're gonna go do the brows. And I'm gonna be using my NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in the color taupe. As you can see, I shaved off the ends of my eyebrows once again because in this picture, Rosé has straight brows and your girl does not. I have a natural arch, so I had to create my own shape for the eyebrow and I started off by using a skeleton with this pencil first by creating that straight brow. Then I'm gonna go in and fill that with a darker eyeshadow actually. And I'm using the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette um, in the color Chocolate Dipper. I'm gonna go in and I'm filling that with an angled brush. I had to make sure that my eyebrows were as straight as possible. <laughs> I had to make sure that I was doing it justice. We're gonna go buff those out a little bit. And then when you're done that, you're actually gonna take your favorite concealer and a small brush, flat brush, and you are going to clean up underneath that brow. This is going to help define that stripe brow and it is just gonna give us life, because that's what we want. I'm gonna go in and do the top as well. Some people don't do the top of the brow when they're cleaning it up, but I like to, and I think it adds a super, super great de definition to this look. To add some texture, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Vol Volumizing Gel. Just going to create texture for the eyebrow on whatever hairs that I have left. Clean it up just a little bit. Yes! And then I'm going to do the other brow. Bam! Two eyebrows looking like twins. Then we're gonna go in and do some eyeshadow, y'all. Super excited. Let me tell you, I already tried. I tried and then the glitter was all over my face, so I had to reapply. Take two. We're gonna be using our LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the color Ivory. And we're gonna be putting that on top of our eyelid. So using any eyeshadow primer, which I don't have, or your concealer still works, what these do is that they help the eyeshadow color to stay on your lid and help the color to pop. I'm going in with the first color. I'm going in with my Morphe palette. I'm using the color Chicory. I think that's how you say it, Chicory. And I'm using a flat brush and we're putting that all over our lid. Now I was watching the um, makeup video that Rosé's makeup artist did for this look in particular. And she said that this look was really, really rough. It's not supposed to be blended. So I'm gonna be using the color Bubblegum from my Morphe palette again. And I'm just gonna be applying this on the top part right above the eyelid there. 
just to add a little bit of color before I put on the little gel that I have. Then we're going to go in with our Too Faced palette. Once again, I'm using Peach Butter and I'm just applying that on the corners, inner of my eyes here, so it helps balance out that harsh look that we have from the deep reds. And we're going to go in with that red chicory color and create the iconic look for this makeup. It's that deep, deep red under eye. Let me tell you, it was super hard to not blend this out. <laughs> then we're going in with our ColourPop Literally Obsessed Sailor Moon Collection, Moonlight Legend, and I actually love this. We're gonna be applying this to the top of the lid. I tried really hard to dab, 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 keep that in there and make sure that I got as much glitter as possible because I obviously don't have the same product that they used on Rosé, but uh, you know, your girl had to improvise with what she had. And I absolutely love this. All right, so I'm gonna go do the other eye. And here we have the other eye done, and I actually threw on a little bit of lashes, but don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this look because I know that it looks a little bit crazy. <laughs> and we're going in with our Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the color Classic Ivory. Now this is normally my winter foundation, but I'm using it now because obviously in this picture, Rosé looks very, very pale. So I had to make sure that I was doing the makeup justice. So we're making sure that we're dabbing that in. You can use your favorite beauty blender and we're dabbing that into our skin, never stroking it. So now we're gonna go and add some concealer. I'm using the same um, Ivory LA Girl HD Pro Concealer underneath my eye. Concealer is your best friend, I'm telling you, makes you look like you've slept for a thousand years when you actually slept nothing at all, like not even a wink. Now we're gonna bake with my favorite, favorite product. It is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. I absolutely love this from my other video. I was talking and raving about this product, but yes, so we're gonna set underneath our eyes. And again, you can use whatever setting powder you have, but I personally, personally love this specifically for under the eyes. And then I'm going to the Too Faced palette and I'm using the color Peach Sangria. That's the two colors that I'm using. I'm gonna be cleaning up on top of the eyelid because a little bit of the gel got on there, but you know what, it's okay. We go fix it up as much as we can, and then we're adding a little bit of that underneath the eye as well, because Rosé's makeup artist did use two kinds of reds. Yes. Dancing to K-pop, but I can't let it play because you know, copyright, and uh, we can't have that. And we're gonna go and use our Maybelline Volume Express Colossal Mascara in the color, in the color, wow, in cat eye. Making sure that we are connecting my natural lashes to these fake lashes that I put on. And we're wiping off the excess here. Going in and I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Powder. Same color as my foundation, Classic Ivory, and this is just to set the foundation that I have on my face. Now for this look, there's not actually a lot of contouring, so I'm just using a little bit. I'm using my Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D in the color Somber. 
Rosé's makeup artist did talk about how there isn't a lot of contouring or they don't use blush at all for this look. So I'm just using and putting it on the necessary areas like your cheekbones, your forehead here, and you can't forget that jawline. You gotta make sure we look snatched. I'm just buffing out underneath the eyes just a little bit because it was driving me crazy. And now I'm going to be using my Cherry Aid Lip Tint from Etude House. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm going to be putting that on my lips. And with lip tints, if you don't know, there's like a certain process to it. You have to like constantly reapply this for your desired look that you like. Typically I like to start out in the middle and then that way I can fade out the sides. And I just reapplied this until I had the desired color that I wanted. Final step, we have to set that makeup girl with our Urban Decay Matte Setting Spray. And look, it has my name on it. The face is basically done, so now I'm gonna go do my hair, put on the little bit of outfits, and I'm gonna show you my final looks. Here are my final looks. I actually used two shawls, they're both from Italy, <laughs> and um, my dad's gold chains to create this look here. I hope you all really, really like this. I tried my best. This was super fun. Leave a comment below if you liked it and who you would like me to check out next. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Bye.